Friends, today is Tuesday, the 1st of December, and we've entered into the Advent season, the beautiful Advent season. I have the, our Advent wreath right behind me. Sunday, I asked the congregation, somewhat rhetorically, well, what is your favorite liturgical season? And I said, well, I'll answer for you. Season of Advent, Advent, that period between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is so filled with anticipation and hope and joy. And the readings that we listen to during this Advent season reflect that same excitement and hope and joy, the joy of the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And the prophet that we listen to most is Isaiah, and we hear from him this morning, who looks ahead 800 years to the coming of the Messiah. And he says so beautifully that a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse. That hope already planted in the ninth century before Christ, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, an old dry stump, and out of it comes this little green shoot, giving us hope. And that little green hope from the stump of Jesse is the Messiah, the Messiah fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. And Isaiah says that the spirit will be upon him, a spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, strength, knowledge and fear of the Lord. The same words spoken by Jesus at the beginning of his public ministry in the Gospel of Luke at the synagogue of Nazareth, that he has come, the Spirit is upon him to bring glad tidings to the poor. And he has come, he has come. And we, of course, are in that in-between time between his first coming and his second coming. And his first coming and his revelations to us, the gospel today says that things hidden, hidden from the beginning, hidden from the beginning, hidden from the wise and the learned are now revealed to us, the childlike, now revealed to us. The Gospel today presents Jesus in intimate conversation with his Father. He says, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have now revealed them to the childlike. Intimate conversation between Jesus and the Father. And we have to remember that at the time of Jesus, there was no notion or understanding of God as a trinity. And so our reading today is not just a holy man, a good man speaking to God. It's Jesus, the Son of God, the second person of the Trinity, speaking intimately with his Father in the Holy Spirit. And we, we are invited into that intimacy in the Holy Spirit. And what is it that is revealed to us who are the childlike? What is revealed to us? Well, it's exactly that relationship of intimacy, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We created in the image of God, Father, and Holy Spirit, an image of communion. We're invited into the very communion of God. And perhaps the best way to experience that and even to discuss it is to speak of the Eucharist, the Eucharist where we receive the body and the blood of Jesus and enter into the communion of the Trinity. Such a great gift, such a great gift given to us, this relationship, two members of the Trinity, and we through the Holy Spirit join them, join them in that intimacy, the inner life of God, which God has wanted to share with us from the very beginning of time. And now, and now it is before us. The gospel today says, Jesus turning to the disciples says, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it and to hear what you hear, 
but did not hear it. And thus the prophet, the prophet Isaiah looks ahead, looks forward to the day, the messianic days in which we live, the coming of Jesus who is savior to us. Let's hold that joy, that excitement, that anticipation as we go through this Advent season. Have a great day, hold that thought, and we'll see you tomorrow.